What is up everyone? I hope you're all having a great day today. So as y'all know, this right here is my gaming setup on the inside. So this is what y'all see for my live streams and also any videos that I make. This is what y'all see. This is the inside. But this is what it looks like on the outside. So of course we got our hand cam right here, our face cam right here, our iPad, our laptop. I got a drawing tablet back here, my Rubik's Cube. Uh, Goku right here. These are the LED lights. These are um, this is all freehand in color pencil done by me This is my brother Damien me and my best friend uh, back in high school when I had short hair This is my first dog. Her name was baby um, This is me when I was little and my favorite cousin when he was little so that's you know Those are just four drawings that I did back um, in 2016 when I was in Colorado and this is another painting of Baby, and back here, um, y'all can kind of see just some more uh, watercolor paintings done by me. But this is my gaming setup. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is, so I showed you, you know, just the outside of my gaming setup, just, you know, how it, how it looks when it's all plugged in. But right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to show you some screenshots of any of the devices that I use, so my MacBook, my iPad, my, you know, throwaway iPhone, uh, the iPhone that I have right now, and any other uh, devices that I use to stream. I'm going to show you the screenshots of where I got them, and I will also be showing you the settings for my OBS as well as my internet speed, and after I show you those screenshots, I'll go ahead and jump back outside of my setup and show you how I plug everything in, and then we'll go back into uh, OBS and I will show you exactly how I set it up from OBS. Alright, so um, first things, so this is, I believe it's called the Gooseneck phone holder, and that's what's holding my uh, iPhone SE, and this is my hand cam. So if you get closer, you can see, I mean, literally all I have it on is just the regular camera, so you can see video, slow-mo, photo. Keep it on video, and um, I have it with the back camera facing towards my iPad, and of course, that's how you can see my hands. Uh, then... I have my iPhone, um, this is my regular phone, this is what I use, you know, for talking, texting, calling, whatever. This is my normal phone, uh, I just use the front camera, that way I can visually see what's happening, because uh, if I do the back camera, it, you know, obviously will be better quality, but I can't see what's happening, I don't know where I need to move it. And it's also on this stand right here, it's a tripod stand. And of course I got my iPad, and then I have my MacBook right here. So I'm going to open OBS and OBS is what I use. Obviously all you have to do is go um, online, put OBS, download it. So this is how it normally looks. And then of course I have my starting soon and my one moment. Uh, but so for now, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to plug everything in and then I can start it from scratch. So um, I have this right here. Uh, this is connected to my uh, router, and this is the three USBs with the Ethernet right here, and it, all it is a USB, and it connects to my iPad right here. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that. And then from there, this is my iPad, um, my iPad USB. So I can go ahead and connect my iPad right here. USB. There we go. And then it should pop up. There you go, that's my iPad. Um, shout out Gaines, shout out Big Gaines. Um, now we have another USB, and this is the one that I use for my iPhone. So of course, like I said, this one has three USBs. I'm gonna plug my um, iPhone into there, and then my face cam will pop up. that already 
And the last one, another USB. Obviously you should all just have USBs because uh, if you have a phone, then you most likely have a USB. And this one, I just connect to this one right here. So just because if I connect it to this one, it's just gonna be too far. So I connect it to this one, put it around my iPhone or my face cam that way uh, it kind of holds together, I guess. Then I connect it. Oh, did I accidentally connect this one? All right, so there's the hand cam, and I think something happened with this one. Shout out, Uzi. All right, there you go. That's my bad. All righty, so there you go. We got the face cam, hand cam, and iPad. And then what I use is I just use my regular earphones, and I plug them in right here. And there you go. Shout out, Cherry Pie. So that is literally all I do. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and get into how I actually make it work on OBS from scratch. So of course we have the starting soon. We have the one moment and I also have the caught in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the starting soon first. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the um, a scene. So these are all my scenes. I'm gonna go ahead and press a plus button to start my scene and we're gonna call this SS for starting soon. And press OK, and now it's just a black screen because there's nothing on it. On the right side here, you're going to have your sources. So again, I'm going to put plus icon, and we're going to go to image because that's what I want. Um, then we're going to go to OK. Oh, we're going to name it, I guess, start, right? Or ST for start. I'm going to press OK. Now we're going to browse for our images. And we're going to go to my downloads because that's where I have it. Caught M. And here's our starting soon. So we're gonna open that. Press okay, and now we got it. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna start resizing. So of course I just drag the corner to the other corner and it continues to get smaller. So once we've got a good size, we'll line it up. Close this a little more in and there we go. That's how you get starting soon. And I mean, it's exactly the same for the one moment. So we're gonna name this OM for one moment, press OK. Once again, go to our sources, image, um, name it image, whatever, it doesn't matter. Browse, and here's our one moment. So we're gonna press open, OK. All right, and once again, we're just resizing it. I know it looks like I'm just dragging it away, but no, I'm resizing it. There we go. All right, put it to the corner and just bring it in a little bit. There we go. Now we have a starting soon and a one moment. So of course the most important one is a COD M1. So we'll just name this, I don't know, CD. <laughs> so here's our COD M. All right, now this is, like I said, the, the main one. And as y'all saw um, from the video, I plugged everything in. So I have everything plugged in already, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this to look like this. So we come back, and the first thing we're gonna add is our image, so another image. Um, and what that is, it's, it's the overlay. So we're gonna put OV for overlay. I'm gonna browse images once again, and here's my overlay. So I put open, okay, and once again, I know it feels very redundant, but this is the last image we're going to have to do, so. Alrighty, and there it is now fit to screen. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to press plus icon and we're going to get our main um, video capture device, which is going to be our iPad. So I have them all right here, but either way, I'm going to go ahead and show you from, you know, how to do it from the beginning. So we're going to put IP for iPad, press OK. We're gonna check devices, and these are all the devices that are currently plugged into my MacBook. So we're gonna hit Mystico's iPad and press OK. And here's that bad boy. I have it on my regular home screen because uh, <laughs> if I put it in my, my COD mobile, then everyone's gonna try adding me. So I'm gonna resize this. And the way I did that is instead of, you know, clicking it in, um, just pressing the red button and clicking it in, you're going to actually press Alt and then you do the same thing and you drag it in. That way it actually crops rather than um, resizes. And there we go. 
now it fits correctly in there and what we got to do is we're going to make sure that ov our overlay is always on top because these are layers and we want the overlay to be over the gameplay all right so next one we're going to go ahead and get our hand cam in here same thing video capture device uh hc for hand cam press ok and it might start running a little slower on my screen just because um you know i already have it right here for caught m and just kind of overworking it but that's okay so we got our hand cam right here and press okay so here's our hand cam um, these are my beautiful hands but obviously we don't want you know this video right here in it we don't want the timing right here so once again we're gonna re um, not resize but crop so we're gonna go to this red dot press alt and drag and get that zero that timing out same thing alt drag Get all those options out and then one more time alt drag and here we go um, we might need to do a little more cropping but for now we're going to go ahead and press control and click on this and we are going to put transform then for transform we're going to rotate clockwise and here we are now we're going to go ahead and resize like we did with the images just to make it a little smaller and should fit pretty nice Gonna kind of move it to the side a little. And there we go, once again, we're gonna put our overlay on top. And there we go, we got our hand cam. Last but not least is our beautiful face cam. So we're gonna put video capture device once again. Put FC for face cam, okay. Once again, and this is, like I said, my phone is what records my face. So I'm gonna click phone, press okay. There's that handsome man. And once again, we're gonna crop, alt, drag alt drag alt drag alt drag there we go but this time we're going to put control or um yeah control click we're going to go to transform again but we got to put it clock or counterclockwise sorry there we go once again i know my, my voice isn't matching up with my face cam but because we're kind of overworking. I'm also recording on my face cam for the audio, um, which is why you saw it recording, but for normal gameplay or normal streams, I don't press record, you don't have to. There we go, we got it at a decent size and we're gonna put our overlay back on top. All right, there we go. And our last one, which is honestly the one that, um, I'm actually gonna turn my face cam off just because it's kind of weird seeing it, um, you know, not be synced up with my voice. So. The last thing we're gonna do, and the most important thing, um, which is something that I had a very hard time with, uh, you know, figuring out for myself, is we gotta get our gameplay audio, because right now we don't have gameplay audio. So let me actually go into my game. Alrighty. So now what we're gonna do, so right now, like I said, we don't have any, any sound on, and uh, obviously, you know, this might be why, well, um, why we don't have any sound. We do need that on. Um, but we're actually going to go to QuickTime Player, and hopefully this works because... Oh, okay, so we have my audio. So we're going to put File, and we're going to hit New Audio Recording. Right now I'm using it to screen record, so I don't want to press it, but you click on New Audio Recording, and it pops up this little screen right here. You hit down, and these are, again, all the devices you have connected to it. I'm going to click on Mystical's iPad because that's where I want my sound to come from. So we do that, and then we got to go right here, add another source, and we're actually going to do window capture this time. So um, we do window capture, and then I'll just put AD for audio. And it's going to be quick time audio recording. So we're going to click that, and there it is. It gives us our little icon. We press OK. And, you know, you can resize it if you want to. It truly doesn't matter, um, because what I do anyways is I just put it way on the bottom. And there you go, you don't see it anymore. So that is all for the sources. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is my settings. So this is gonna be a good start off to what you would want. But again, I mean, you don't have the same MacBook as I do, so you might be able to do better settings. You might be able to have to do, you know, a little less um, bit rate or something. But for stream, I have it on YouTube, uh, primary ingest, and then, you know, stream key, you can, there are tons of videos to um, figure out how to get your stream key, so I'm not really going to show you that. And then for my output, my streaming settings, I have it at a bit rate of 3000. And I actually had it at 3500, but I just now changed it to 3000, hoping for a smoother stream. 
Free scale output, I have it at 1280 times 720. Um, I have the encoder for my hardware. Uh, these don't really matter because I don't use this to record. And for my audio, doesn't matter again. Um, for my video, I have it at 1280 times 720. Same thing for output, 1280 by 720. I have a downscale at, um, for bicubic sharpened scaling, 16 samples, and the frames per second is at 60. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. Hopefully it helps our screen. I'm gonna go back to COD. And this is our setup. Okay, so that is gonna be the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed the setup and I genuinely hope that this helps some of y'all, you know, uh, stream with a face cam and a hand cam. I know a lot of y'all stream, uh, but y'all only use your iPad. So hopefully y'all have some of these things that I have that way you can start streaming with a face cam and a hand cam because that'll be so awesome. But if y'all have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask me. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but other than that, I hope y'all have a great day. See you.